Recently, we had an existing client of ours currently using Dynamics GP that wanted to use SharePoint to help them better manage the month-end process in their accounting department. And this is what we did. I took a basic business portal and SharePoint install and added to it some additional sites that makes it easier to collect data on the account analysis that's done on a monthly basis. So what I did is I added a finance department here. We'll take a look at that. And to that I added another site called account analysis. And on that I've got individual pages for each account that needs to be analyzed on a monthly basis. Let's take a look at it. Basically, each page is a document library that contains all the analysis worksheets that's done throughout the year. On this particular document library, I've added some additional settings that makes it easier to control the process. Basically, what I did is I put some versioning controls to make sure that every document, when it goes up there, it needs to be checked in and checked out. Those requirements are right here. Additionally, I set up some very simple workflow to allow people to track the analysis and the approval of that particular of any particular worksheet during a particular month. Let's take a look at it. It's a very simple workflow here. This is basic setup. And here I've got two people that are set up as approvers. And down here a little ways you can see I've got some information about notification to other users and notification within the system. Let's go back to the document library. Here you can see I've got individual worksheets. This one happens to be checked out. And I've got some a Word document up here to provide some additional direction for account analysis. So let's look at an example. Say I'm doing a May analysis here, and I'm done with my analysis. I want to upload it to SharePoint. It's easy to do. I'm going to save it up to SharePoint. I've got a, a folder all set up and I'm going to save it right into that folder. It'll go right up to SharePoint. And you can see here that I must check that document. I've got that control over it, so I'll hit OK. And Now, when I'm done with the document, say I was doing some additional work, I'll close out of that document. It's going to ask me if I want to check it in, and I'll say, yes, I would. I can add comments to it. And then it'll be uploaded to SharePoint. We can refresh the screen here. And we can see here it is right here. If I wanted to, I could add some additional workflow to this. So I want to. I want to add the analysis approval workflow that I had set up earlier. So here's the workflow. It looks OK to me. So I'm going to start the workflow on that. The workflow engine will start off. And we'll start seeing some notifications about that workflow. Let's go back and take a look at the, the basic site here and look at some of the other components I put in here. Uh, one thing I did is I add down at the bottom here, I add an Excel services spreadsheet so that people can keep track of which accounts in which months have already been approved. You can see that right here. This is a simple use of a Excel services in Moss. Also, you can see I've got a list of all the workflow items. Here's the one that we just started. We can log into that. And if I was one of the approvers, I could notify my, excuse me, I could put my approval in right here. I could reject it, send it back, or I could approve it. Also, what I did in this case is I looked at the account maintenance form in Dynamics. And what I did is I used Extender to set up a simple link to the SharePoint site. So here's the cash account here. If I go up to Additional, this is my Extender window. And this is a link that I set up. This gives people in my accounting department an easy link from Great Plains up to the SharePoint site that has all the documents that fur further analyze the activities in the ERP system. This is just a simple example of how to use Great Plains and how to use SharePoint to really kind of round out some of the accounting activities related to a month-end close.